I have spent a ton of time when I was younger running around in arena shooters and blowing people up. It was a formative time in my development as a gamer and sneaking around trying to find games that I don't have to pay for. Now there's Quake Champions, a legacy version of these games that are available on Steam from id and Bethesda. To understand my split feelings about this game, it's important to break down the game based on the two parents of this title, the gameplay by id and the online aspect by Bethesda. First, the combat is frenetic and enjoyable and a staple of any of id's games. If you are looking for fast, gory, gritty combat that will harken back to Quake 3 Arena, then you have found it because it's alive and well in Quake Champions. But there is a lack of polish surrounding these games. While the core is well defined, I had a few compatibility problems that I had to navigate through, though I'm certain it's circumstantial to me specifically. Additionally, there is an incredibly stupid lockout system surrounding your connectivity to the game itself, which is where we move forward to a criticism of Bethesda. First, if you got your login and you've got a hard time logging in, the game will close completely. Since it loads at nearly the same speed as Killing Floor 2, it can be incredibly annoying reloading the game repeatedly. I was disconnected from a match mid-game and it closed the entire game itself instead of letting me return to the main menu. A quick Ookla check and my Discord status showed that my internet itself hadn't gone down, just my connection to the netcode of the game itself. Now the game is in early access, so who knows what exactly is the problem, and I'm hopeful that they will fix it. The other problem with the game is the unlockables themselves. At the current rate, the game is not free to play, though it looks like they are going into free to play soon. But at the time of writing this, you have to buy a character pack in order to gain access, and the Steam page only gives you two options for single characters, or 30 bucks for all the champions outright. I don't necessarily have a problem with this outright, after all I dropped 25 bucks on all the battle right champions, and so I'm not opposed to doing that at all. If I feel the need to invest in a title, I will do it. But at the time of battle right, it was well polished and I could play all the time and not get disconnected if the game ended too soon. But in terms of customizability, there are about 10 to 15 characters that you can play as, each with their own stat differences and customizability. So when you start the game, you are only playing as that one character unless you keep dumping money into it. Once again, if you are fine dropping the 30 bucks on all the characters outright, it won't actually be a problem, but otherwise you're stuck playing the same character and the unlockables just do not drop fast enough for you to make it customized and different or buying a new character outright. So that's the position of Quake Champions at the moment. If you are looking for an updated version of Quake 3 Arena or the classic Unreal Tournament games, then you're fine. Spend the five bucks and jump in and play. It's a ton of fun. But if you're wanting to play with cosmetics and different character styles, it'll cost you money. So you certainly won't have to, but you might want to. Check it out.